So orthodontic appliances generally are kind of two general categories, those that are fixed in place and those that are removable. So we'll look at some of these ones that are fixed in place and of course the traditional thing that most people are familiar with would be a fixed in place braces. They're glued onto the surface of the teeth and imagine the brace being more, nothing more than really a handle on the tooth. And that handle accepts a wire into a slot and the wire is then the producing the action or the activity on, in that uh, movement. And so braces are glued on the teeth. Occasionally there's a band or a ring around a tooth, but for the most part, braces are things that are uh, glued on. Other fixed in appliances might be something to help push back a molar uh, for some bite correction. This again would be a, a, a fixed in appliance that works um, to distalize or push to the back uh, molars. An older version of this, accomplishing this, was this thing called a headgear, which came, which came around the neck and would be worn at night with a heavy uh, wire on the outside here to transmit the force to these back molars. And the thing that makes this, an appliance like this that's fixed in so much um, more humane is that it's a constant force that's going in there producing discomfort, but once it's engaged and going, it's really not uncomfortable. Headgear, while it does still work today, uh, it creates an uncomfortable process where every night when you put it on, you wake up in the morning and it produces a new sore discomfort. And, and that becomes the barrier to continuing to wear this uh, type of an appliance. People do, people have, but that's the challenge for so many people and why something that might be fixed in place has uh, greater uh, appeal to the process. Other fixed in appliances we use would be an expander. Uh, and this one for the upper arch is, uh, utilizes a key to make quarter of a millimeter changes in the appliance uh, typically once a day to expand or widen the width of the maxillary arch. These are just some example of fixed in orthodontic um, appliances used. There's removable appliances and removable appliances might be also something that's doing expansion uh, to be worn all the time expect, except for when eating or brushing and an appliance like this is at a slower rate pushing and moving these teeth. Now you can imagine the kind of control uh, that we might have with this type of appliance versus uh, a fixed in appliance like this is, is different. So uh, again, there's different reasons for them. There's different uh, protocols or uh, indications for them. Other removable type of appliances could be as simple as a very uh, traditional Holly retainer. This Holly retainer happens to have a spring embedded to help change the position of a specific tooth. And that recoiled, recurved uh, spring is uh, adjusted to provide a tension or a pressure, excuse me, to um, help move a tooth without displacing it from uh, resting in the teeth. Another form of removable appliance is an aligner. These are appliances that are, um, have now been in use for about over 20 years and they're technologically um, very sophisticated in how they help move teeth. The aligners do their job by moving teeth two to three tenths of a millimeter in making changes from one aligner to another. A treatment plan involves uh, setting up teeth to be moved from a starting to a finish line, finish point, and creating a series of models that successively move those teeth small amounts to, to that finish line. The 
real attraction is it's not wearing something fixed in place. The aesthetic of a clear aligner over a tooth. Um, the real challenges can be the fact that they may not be worn sufficiently enough. And there are some limitations to how they can move teeth. But the, the treatment is generally very desirable from a patient's standpoint because of the aesthetic 